What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man, Shattuck Stick, dropping some hot frog on this mic. I'm joined by Prodigy XED and Eternal Oblivion 96. Say what's good, my neighbors. You start off Eternal. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Eternal Oblivion, a.k.a. Black Salamander, on the mic speaking. What's good? It's been a while since I did a video with Shattuck, and it's always an honor to do a video with Prodigy. You know, how y'all doing? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Prodigy. I'm here with Shattuck. I'm glad that he invited me here on this podcast to talk about E3 with you guys so we're going to be talking about uh e3 this summer around you know uh e3 just finished <laughs> we're, I'm, we're gonna say e3 a lot during this but uh we're just going to talk about who we thought you know had the best e3 overall who, who won e3 oh my god and uh our favorite stuff that we saw from e3 i think we probably all have the same favorite thing i don't know but uh, uh go go first uh go first eternal go first uh the favorite part i would like to say during e3 so far is pretty much the announcement for devil may cry devil oh, may I'm cry surprised. 5 man i yeah, thought everybody be... here was like kingdom Hearts. well no mine was smash i can't even say kingdom hearts it was well, smash well the only reason why i'm saying devil may cry 5 is to the fact that i recently i think last year or early this year i recently beat devil may cry 4 special edition i was on pc and of course playstation 4 but i had it on pc and I get my memory was a little hazy to the fact that it's been a while since I played one through three. And then, you know, I played the reboot, but, you know, people don't talk about the reboot. But still, I had to get back into the whole canon series, the whole canon timeline within Devil May Cry. So to the fact that we finally got the announcement for Devil May Cry 5, because a lot of people have been waiting for it since, you know, 10 years. And it's like, yo, we getting all these remasters coming through on the PS4, Xbox, etc. So, you know, I'm glad that during E3, it was finally the time that everybody every you know capcom blessed everybody with the game that they really wanted and which and it was devil may cry and, and it looks like uh to me like they take the gameplay from like the reboot because that's it looks like you know the reboot in terms of gameplay camera angles and stuff like that which yeah i, I feel like, like I, about it uh and i feel like it, they're at, I, I feel like they're gonna make sure they're gonna have a mixture of dmc4 and the reboot in a way that's why I feel like the gameplay is going to be how it is. Like, it's going to be with a... Because the engine they're using is similar, apparently, for what I read. It's supposed to be the engine they use for Resident Evil 7. So, gameplay-wise, I feel like it's going to be a mixture of Devil May Cry 4. Mostly 4, but I feel like they're going to add a mixture of what was in the reboot. Who knows? Uh, all right. So, Prodigy, tell me what, like, your your favorite thing was and or how you felt about that. You know, just, just tell, tell us what you're thinking, bro. Well, my favorite thing at E3 was obviously Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm a Kingdom Hearts channel. What can dirty, I say? Dirty Kingdom Hearts <laughs> fan. I swear to God. <laughs> no, hey, man. Going. I'm sorry. Keep going. Uh, but we got Kingdom Hearts. It's been winning a lot of awards recently. I've Like, every time I scroll through my timeline, like, every couple of hours, I'm always seeing Kingdom Hearts has won some new award from E3. A lot of people agree that Kingdom Hearts 3 is looking really good. And that they had like the best showcase. Uh, we got Frozen confirmed as the world. Aqua got norted. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is coming she back and it's looking very Norty. good. <laughs> like graphics are looking better than they ever have before. And I'm just happy to be a Kingdom Hearts fan right now. And more has been getting interviewed. More news is coming out right now. And I'm pretty sure more is going to come tomorrow. So Kingdom Hearts 3 is my favorite thing from the conference. You know, and, and, like, like I would say... Like, for me, personally, it's Smash. And that's only because this is, like, the ultimate Smash game. Because Kingdom Hearts, the thing is, Kingdom Hearts is not coming out this year. It's coming, technically, it's coming out in the 13th month of 2018, if we all want to be real. But <laughs> it's hey, coming. Hey, man, you got to take it with a great assault. At least you're getting Kingdom Hearts 3 literally the first month of 2019. Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 that, that's fine with me. I'm just saying, like... The uh, Smash comes out like the month beforehand, and I'm just like I'm getting two oh, games. Oh yeah, y'all gonna yeah, y'all 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 gonna be good. Y'all got Smash. <laughs> and Smash coming out sooner, so I'm just like I'm more hyped for Smash right now because it's 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 like within a, 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 a shorter proximity to me. They're they're about you know two, they're almost two months apart. So I'm just sitting there like, you know what? Most of these games are four course five star meals, not snacks, not snacks. Four curse five star meals, but you know the first one up to the plate is a uh, smash right now. So I'm I'm super hyped for that. I really like the. Uh, I actually I might get DMC five. I d I don't like Devil May Cry. I haven't played four. I I've played a bit of one, two, and three, 
uh, cause I had a neighbor who, or whatever who had it and, uh, I, I hated all of them, but I liked the way the reboot plays. I pirated that, that reboot, you know, was actually pretty fun. So like, I was just like, all right, I might be able to get in this if this is anything like the reboot. I haven't so played So you are here pirating? <laughs> yep, because I don't like Devil May Cry. <laughs> so, you, so, 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 so did you pirate also Sonic Generations? No. Did you port it? Did you like pirate Sonic Forces? No, that got the new You can't pirate that. Yes, you can. You got a jailbroken PS3 or Xbox? In my heart. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) Oh my god! Like, like, uh, bro, like we got so much stuff at E3 though. Like, this is one of the better E3s. Um, I'm not gonna say it's the best. It was the best for Microsoft. This is the best Microsoft E3 I think I've seen in years. Like. Microsoft. Yeah, it's more. It's more like it's more like it was best for Microsoft this year, and it was kind of eh for Sony because Sony like don't get me wrong. Like three games. <laughs> yeah, there's only like three games, and you know people don't really care for VR like that. There's a lot of people that there's some people that like it, but the majority of people who like support PlayStation they don't be on that VR stuff unless it's look here. What they should have showcased. Check me out. Hear me out. They should have showcased that fake Grand Order VR. They got weaves that would get that VR with a heartbeat, okay? I don't know why they didn't showcase that. I Iron Fist literally showed me a trailer of a fake Grand Order VR experience. I was like, bro, this is literally Waifu Simulator. This is literally an anime Waifu Simulator. Why y'all not post this up? Y'all could have got some weaves out there hype for y'all press conference. Like, don't get me wrong. We had what? We had uh, Dust Stranding. We had, uh, what was that Samurai game? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, what else? We had The Last of Us. I ain't gonna front The Last of Us. I'm not hating on it, but uh, I mean, it's, that, it looks that, like that, the same game. No, 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 no. That whole startup, that whole little build up for it, completely stupid in my opinion. I'm sorry. And then you gotta wait. Then they had to do a ten minute, a ten minute intermission just for Dude, everybody to go to the. the... <laughs> you talking about that, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about the 10-minute intermission. They had to go from the place where they was doing The Last of Us um, oh, reactment. Yeah. And then they had to go all the way back to the where the original main stage is. And I'm just like, why? Why? Like, Sony Sony <laughs> had definitely, like, I feel like the worst presentation just they, this they, year. They, they really did. Like, don't get me wrong. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I was going to say, because, like, you know, you got these games. And you got The Last of Us too. all right? So, yeah. Last of Us 2 doesn't look any different in terms of, like, gameplay than The Last of Us 1. It just looks like yeah, it kinda, it kinda, Yeah, it kind of looked the same. It just They just updated the UI. That's it. But everything just looked the same, in my opinion. Yeah, exactly. And, like, Uncharted's gameplay. I'm not going to sit here and, like, praise that game's gameplay. Because, it's it to me, it's just bad Uncharted. Like, Uncharted is, like, phenomenal. And then you got The Last of Us. And I'm like... Who who hurt you? <laughs> but it, it, it's it's one of those things where we don't get a bunch of new from that. Ghost of Tsushima, we don't really understand that. I don't really understand the game because yeah, the game that's ain't have no HUD yeah. or anything. Like I don't I, like I don't know understand how it works. So I'm just like, yeah, oh, this gameplay is cool and stuff, but how the game worked. Then we got Spider Man. Now they did really well with uh, executing how they showed. I Spider-Man. forgot about Spider Man. Goddamn. Like like Spider Man was like extremely great, but like. When you got two of you, when you got these two games before it and like their hype into you know to some degree because like I'm hyped for the story of Last of Us too and I was just like oh man Ellie got her a girl and stuff she out here she out here macking and then I'm just like what having the gameplay man come on man gameplay <laughs> gameplay new. gameplay basically look the same I mean if you wanna let's say this like look how God of War God of War was completely different because back then God of War reason why I never really got into God of War because it was just and it was just the everyday you know hack and slash type stuff. But this God of War that they made, it okay. felt like I, I, well yeah, and it felt like actual story driven, not just oh you beat whatever in your way and shit. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, before I go on um, about The Last of Us. Like, I'm not trying to say, oh, The Last of Us 2 has to be some insanely different game. I just want to see where they improved on in gameplay and what new mechanics they're bringing to the table. Like, they don't have to add major features. I'm not saying, oh, you got to go from, like, you got to go all out. Like, you could just, it, it doesn't, 
what I'm saying is I just want to see what's improved in the game and what new is being brought to the table in terms of gameplay. That's all. Like, I, I don't need to be seeing the same boring, oh, the cover shooting that The Last of Us is basically is. is Like, I want to see the new stuff that you're trying to bring to the table. Um, Spider-Man, though, like, that really excited me. Like, I, I'm really excited for Spider-Man now. Like, uh, I, I was already hyped for it, but, like, I, I when they show when they show when they show more money. gameplay when they show more <laughs> gameplay and more interactions with the characters and villains and whatnot showcasing a little glimpse of the story somewhat because we still don't know how the story is supposed to go through other than that man uh, you know I'm an adrenaline junkie I play initial D I play, I play like what Shattuck would say RK racers so I, I love the speed that Spider Man has showcased at the press conference. This man, you got this man, Spider Man, just running through walls and stuff, man. Like, yo, I'm not trying to touch the water, but look, Electro trying to shock me, and I'm definitely not trying to get enough because I'm looking like an eel, and I'm not trying to steal. Okay. I'm just hey, saying. So, so Prodigy, how how do you feel about the the press conference, bro? Is you sitting over here silent? Cause like, <laughs> tell us, tell us how you felt. <laughs> Uh well I before this podcast started I wrote a little list of best to worst E3 conferences in my opinion um yeah. oh boy and it goes like this best mm. being Sony second best being Nintendo third best Microsoft fourth best Bethesda fifth best Ubisoft sixth best Square Enix and PC gaming show and EA are tied for worst for Sony. Reason I loved Sony so much, I feel like Sony showed off the best Kingdom Hearts three trailer that I've seen in the th- five Wait, hold years on, of covering Kingdom Hearts. Hold on, hold on, oh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, say, so you you literally did it because of the Kingdom Hearts three trailer. You did it because of the Kingdom Hearts. I I, I didn't even finish what I was saying. My bad. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. My bad. Oh man. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> Let this man finish. You already uh, ready to tackle him. God. <laughs> All right. So, second thing, Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, I was sitting there, like, freaking out the gameplay of that. It was beautiful to me. I I love the aesthetic that that game had, because not many games explore that, I guess, time period a lot. And I feel like this game is going to do it very well. I do agree with you about the HUD. I do want to know more about how the game works. But from what they showed, it did hype me up for the game. Way I'm way more interested in it than I was before. And I was pretty interested in it before. But I'm even more interested in it now. And I can't wait for the game to come out or get another trailer so I can fully invest myself in what the game is even more. Resident Evil. Do I even have to say anything about that? That ooh, that that was great. Uh, Last was part two. Now. Shaq, me and you share a lot of the same opinions on Last of Us. Uh, I was impressed with what they show with Last of Us, mainly uh, towards the graphical side of things, because Last of Us oh, no, 2 no, no. looks amazing yeah, graphically. graphically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gameplay, graphics. gameplay, it definitely does look the same, and I I didn't mind that too much because I wasn't expecting them to do anything different with gameplay, because I, I, didn't, I didn't know what they would do different. Um, if they do showcase something different, I'm sure they'll show it down the line. Maybe at a PlayStation, maybe at a PlayStation experience or something. Um, that's probably the next time we'll see it, or maybe even sooner. But Last of Us Two is looking good to me. I didn't. I was a little annoyed when they went on that ten minute like intermission, like just talking about stuff. Uh, we we were thinking like in the call that I was in, we were thinking, okay please tell me this isn't taking up like the actual like part of the conference but then they went to the real part of the conference last was two is supposed to be like a starter i i ended up being fine with the intermission just because they announced that black ops 3 was free that was the best part of that to me um i do i do think we could have went without it though but after that i feel like I feel like their presentation was fine from there on out. They just showed game after game after game, which is which is what a lot of companies uh did at E3 this year, which I think is going to be a formula that we see uh throughout more years of E3 and that excites me. I'm li- I'm liking that these companies are getting straight to the point. They're not they're not showcasing the game then talking about the game for like 15 20 minutes because then we used to have like 2 hour conferences and half of the conference or even more of that would be just them talking. Now we have now we have even the big 3 companies Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, they're having hour long sometimes less conferences. And they get to the point faster. We get a lot more in a short amount of time, and we're able to just take it all in. And I love that. That's why I feel like 
Sony, for me personally, I'm a big Sony fan. They showed off the best games to me. Uh, Nintendo, the reason I put them second is because Smash, the things that interested me there, mainly Smash. Mario Party got me interested. Uh, I just hope it has online. I don't know if they confirmed that at their treehouse or anything. Someone please tell me if they I did. Will, I, I would think there would be online. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Online yeah, but there, there's like Super Mario Party? Mario. I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. They haven't been doing it in the rest of the Mario Party games, so I don't. I, I wouldn't yeah. put it past. I, 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 I feel like I, I feel like they would. They probably, you know, that's just the whole announcements for it. So maybe they ain't really getting too much depth about the whole situation. Because you also got to think about it like this. Uh, once they announce something, you know, they of course they're gonna look at the feedback and see what what more they could do before like the time of the actual release come out. This is literally similar to like you know Numera. And also Sakurai. Well, well, Sakura- th- 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 this is a different case, though. Like, all the previous Mario parties just to ha- they haven't had online, and it's something people have been asking ah, so for. It, it's like, it's and- like something to consider. It's like something to consider, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm, I ain't gonna say. What? Go ahead, go ahead, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh uh, no, I was just saying, I was just saying, like it's gonna. I'm not saying like it's gonna happen, but seeing they, I am saying when they look through their feedbacks because this is E3. This is where every, this is where every developer will low key just look. People may not think so, but developers will look just in case because they don't want day one people just slander it after all the hype about it. So I feel like maybe they'll take it into consideration. If they don't, then. Hey man, you always got local play. I mean, the source is on the go, so you got nothing to, to complain about, even if you know. Eh. But if they do put Wi-Fi, you know, might as well, since you know we live in a world of technology where Wi-Fi is everything. So, well, I mean, Nintendo didn't do that with the Wii U. That's why. That's the only reason I, 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 they haven't done it with any of the other Mario parties this generation. The what? We had like five. On Wii U and 3DS. The what? No, on Wii U and on the on the on the Dust Collector in 3DS. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, none of the Mario Party games on there had online. Don't ever say that name. Win, don't ever it, don't don't ever say that console name in front of me, bro. <laughs> you don't even got get, one. Hold up, you even get one. <laughs> bro, I stuck to the Wii, bro. When they made that Wii U, when I first saw the Wii U when it first came out, I was like, I ain't getting this shit. I stood to the Wii. Lost my Wii. And let me get a 3DS. <laughs> let me have some Nintendo. I lost the Wii. You just lost the Wii. But um, if we if we had to go like in in order for me, since you just listed off your order from worst to best, EA's EA's at the bottom. Like like I have never been so disappointed, and and it's just- like it's because they had games they could have you know actually showed off, and then they just didn't. And they 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 gave us like two seconds or something. And then you're just like, what was that? And then they would expect people be, to be hyped. What, why did they expect people, anybody in there in the gaming industry to be hyped about a sports game? And there yeah, were so they got many, games. They got microtransactions. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that people were clapping, not because of the games they were talking about, but because of the fact that they had to reassure people they wouldn't put microtransactions in the games or microtransactions <laughs> that would affect gameplay into the games. It's, it says something. It's it says something, and it's sad. Y'all um, terrible. <laughs> then uh, I'd say Bethesda was the second worst. While we got Elder Scrolls, while we got Fallout seventy six gameplay or whatever, and they announced Elder Scrolls six and Doom uh, Doom Eternal, like we we got nothing. We we got nothing visually of those two games. Like I'm I'm hyped for Doom and like Elder Scrolls six that that was just a logo. So I'm just, they showed off logos. Like I'm just like come on, cuz like like what's this? Then after that, I'd have to say Sony because Sony just had the most jumbled up conference i've ever seen them put on like while they while more of these uh companies are taking the nintendo uh direct approach and just doing game after game after game how are you gonna have like all these intermissions all this stuff during the doggone conference nobody wants that especially the people there watching like I, it's, I, it's I, like I you wasted time <laughs> exactly like we could have like they could have at least showed like third party games within those time that time but no they decided to have this guy played some old japanese flute and by the way on that ghost of tsushima i'm hyped for that but after seeing uh sekido or whatever during microsoft's conference from from software which i think this is like the fastest game i've ever seen made by them that 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 is i'm more invested in that than ghost to tsushima now like like i'm just like oh that looked like a whole i look like a whole five-star full course meal you know what i mean but 
after Sony, I'd I'd put you know Ubisoft. Ubisoft actually had a pretty well. They had stupid stuff, and in, in my my channel got eviscerated for live stream in their conference. They actually did had to have like a a pretty good conference. You know what I mean? Did you like, did you applaud? Did you applaud when they showed Star Fox? I, I was screaming. <laughs> I was screaming when they showed Star Fox. Uh, I was about to say. I was about to say. If you didn't, that's probably why. <laughs> like like bro, like I was screaming, bro. Like it it, it was a, it was actually a pretty good conference. Um. The Just Dance stuff, they they didn't focus as heavily as they do do on it and did on it in previous years. Like it was just something to open it up, and you're like, man, get this out of here. And then they just start showing the heat. They show the vision. They and then Assassin's Creed Odyssey is what I feel like Assassin's Creed should have been from the beginning, not trailing missions. But now it's actually a full blown action RPG that you take advantage of your assassin skills in. So that that's mm-hmm. something I've always really wanted in Assassin's Creed, and now they're doing it, and I'm happy. Um, after that, I'd have to put Nintendo. Nintendo had a really great uh, E3 Direct. They showed us a lot of the games we wanted to see. A lot of uh, they're showing us that they're bringing the third party support with games like Fortnite, Fighters, and Paladins, uh, and they're showing their 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 consoles capable. They showed off a, a really a, a game that I think people you know are are not paying attention to which is demon cross machina and that's a spiritual successor to the armored core series of games from uh by from software and the guy who actually uh developed them on uh developed armor core and all that stuff and was one of the head honchos at from software is the lead director for this game so i'm like i'm super hyped for it, it looks really good uh it reminds me of like early 2000s cg action cartoons and anime and stuff so it, mm-hmm. it it looks really it looks really nice and it's visually appealing and we also got smash brothers and y'all know why y'all know how i feel about smash <laughs> y'all know how i already feel about smash are you ready it, for the shokugeki to come back bro uh, oh my god we 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 about to we about to coon out on that game uh, December so I'm ain't got a, classes. I'm, I'm about to get. I'm, <laughs> ain't I'm, got classes. I'm, I'm about to get three games all over again, man. Oh. And then we got um. Oh my bad, I forgot Square Enix. Square Enix was above EA, so so that that they that actually no, they're above Bethesda. It was EA, Bethesda, then Square. And that's only because they had a Kingdom Hearts trailer and they announced like two new IPs, and they showed it more than just a logo. So I was just like. Okay, and you show they they had a nice presentation in terms of like the actual presentation itself, but the content within the presentation wasn't all that great. You know what I mean? It was just stuff we already knew about. Um, and then at the top is Microsoft. Microsoft took they they took the show this E three. They first of all they showed you know the power off the power of the Xbox One X. They mm-hmm. showed. 50 games, 18 exclusive, and uh, like 30, uh, for, and had 40 something, uh, uh, what is it called? No, I think it was like 38 uh, like world premieres. So yep. I, I was sitting there, I was just like, nobody's topping this. On top of that, they announced that their new consoles, people didn't realize this, but Phil Spencer said we were getting new Xboxes uh within the near future so they they basically put their they they put their foot down and said we're going to be the first in the door when it comes to next generation so and and it's about that time to be honest we should have had a new generation by now but it's about that time and they're confirming they're like hey y'all be able to invest in us next time don't worry so it it was one of those things where I'm I'm glad Microsoft is you know they're bolstering up their library. We got games like we got a true Halo game. We're getting uh we're getting Gears Five. We're getting that Sekiro game. We're getting a lot of games from them, and I really like that. You know what I mean? How do you how do you feel, Turner? How, how would you put your order, my dude? Uh, damn. Um, I'm the last person I should do this because I just I just wanted to see the games. Um. I would say okay. So we going like bottom then top, or I mean, whatever way you want to go. Uh, bottom, EA. There was no need. There was no need for speed. <laughs> I don't care. And I don't care for sports games. Um, Bethesda does. Don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I'm honestly happy for everyone that they got their new Elder Scroll. You know, Fallout. 
No. No, they showed some games and whatnot, and they had a pretty interesting little showing. Um, Square Enix. I didn't really see much about Square Enix. We got a new Kingdom Hearts trailer, even though it's the same as the Microsoft one. Um, kind of disappointed that there was no 15 stuff, because it's like, you know, 15 is already, 15 is almost close from officially dying, because they said they want to keep 15 up till 2019. So I was kind of expecting some 15 stuff, but maybe they decided to take a break and work on a few more things because maybe they got a whole bunch of uh, new updates and whatnot because they still do heavy updates with 15, like adding more character customization with Noctis and the squad or whatnot. And maybe they're working on more stuff with comrades as well. Um, I think that's it for like uh, Square Enix. Um, Sony? The Kingdom Hearts trailer was dope. It's good to see Jack Sparrow again. We back in, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. I like how the world is more realistic with the graphics and whatnot. Um, I like how we can swim. I like, yeah, I like how we can swim, and it's not no bullshit like from um, Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, I dig Spider-Man, of course. Um, Last of Us was kind of eh. Because just like how we said, the gameplay looked the same. Only thing that was different was the whole story and the UI was a little bit different. But it didn't really seem like there was anything ex like excited for it. Um, trying to see what else Sony did because Sony didn't really do a lot. The VR, I don't care for the VR like that. If y'all would have showed that fake grant or the VR, maybe I would have you know thought about it. Damn, oh but no, nah, right. nah. <laughs> At least I know it's coming now, and it's and you know what knows, you want know what's crazy? It's dubbed. You have Ooh. Erica Mendez. You have you have uh, you have Arnea. The voice of Arnea does the voice of Saber. If nobody know that, uh, Nintendo, Nintendo gets the number two spot to the due fact that they show games, they show hella games, like bro, like Nintendo had all these games, and you know it's some that you know come from other titles or whatnot, you know, from, back from the Wii U and stuff. Kind of disappointed that we still don't have the whole Senegami Tensei X Fire Emblem game, you know, poured over because I feel like that game really could have did a lot. Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, right? Yeah, I, re I really wish they would have poured it over because they did it at Same. the wrong time to put that game over to the to the Wii U because that's when the Wii U was literally dying. So I well, wish well, they would have. Well, uh, it came over to the states like two years later. No, 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 they should just port it. I know. What you're no, 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 about. no, no. Yeah, like they, they, should, they should literally just port it because they picked the wrong time to put that game on the Wii U when everybody wasn't fucking with the Wii U, and that's when the Switch was, you know, slowly getting announced. If that game gets over, I hope that you know people pick it up. I know I will because I did want to try it out, but I, but I ain't want to play no Wii U. I ain't want to get a Wii U. I ain't want to buy a Wii U just to play that game. And I'm kind of, and I ain't gonna first. Somebody told me that was a rumor. Fuck yeah, yeah. That was about to be a rumor that they was going to announce a port over to the Switch with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Fuck yeah, yeah. That, was, that rumor was terrible. I was kind of hyped. Because they would have told me, hey, we just recently ported it over. Yo, I'll buy it right now. How much that is? 30 bucks? I got you. But nah, man. We ain't getting hey, that. They could have just told me they poured in Sonic Adventure 2 and I would have pulled out my Switch. And man. Bought. Oh, we going to port over Sonic Adventure 1, 2. Yo, we going to port over Heroes mm -hmm. 2. Oh, you want more? Let me give you riders, bro. <sighs> With online. <sighs> like, bro. Come on, man. If I was a developer, man, if I was a developer and I was in charge of the whole porting games over, uh, and um, Microsoft, I get to Microsoft for the first time. I get to know they did their thing. I would say Nintendo, but I say Microsoft because they finally re redeemed themselves from last year's press conference. They slapped the hell out of Sony. They took all the third party games, bro. I was like, hey, you was gonna showcase this, right? Nah, we do this first. Hey, at least y'all get the new Kingdom Hearts trailer, you know what I mean? But uh you know, that's it. I mean, Jump Force is dope. I ain't gonna front. Uh a lot of good stuff. That's all that's all I got. That's all I got. Like overall, this E3, I felt like it's not the best one, but it's it was a pretty like decent one. It's just like every year we're gonna have what what we're gonna have is like we're gonna have the people who are like, oh, this E3 was the best one we've ever had. And then we're gonna have those people who are like, 
This E3 sucked. I hated it. And every every company sucked. And then they're gonna be like, oh, but this company I like, they they did amazing because because I like this one game. And I'm just like, that's not that's not how it works. You know what I mean? You got man, place man, Xbox had Terry Crews, bro. <laughs> Microsoft, like Microsoft, main character is Terry Crews now, bro. Like they. They they mascot Terry Crews like you can't win <laughs> you can't win it's Terry how do you beat Terry Crews you don't you don't you know what I mean um y'all got any last words or anything like that no oh, I'm good I said all I had to say Prodigy. PlayStation need to step PlayStation need to step their game up Prodigy you got any last words mm, not really. All right, so this has been uh, the s- second episode of season two of the Shattuck Zone um, uh, Plus Ultra. But uh, this has been your man, Shattuck Stick. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this out with your friends, and we're out of here. Peace. Oh, kiss, oh, me- kiss. Support yeah. your dude on Patreon. Sponsor uh, links are down in the description. Also, these guys' links are down in the description. Please subscribe to them. They make great content. Eternal almost at 2K if he's not at 2K already. Uh, Prodigy's almost at 1K. So support the squad. And we're out of here. Peace. Squall.